action. <laughs> Coffee with the Masons. <laughs> Tuesday then, version. Oh, dear. Take one. Snap. We've got um, the sun setting behind us. It's probably a no-no, but it's still pretty. To look at your move. Look at that pretty view. Just the sun setting behind us at the tree line. Um, we're in our backyard. Backyard studio today. Ooh. We like to change it up every now and again. Every now and again. She was wanting to ride up the road to the mountain, but I, what the heck for? Because yeah. every nice, every, we live in a pretty place. Let's go look. Yeah, but we might run into people. No. Nah. This live, happened. We don't live near people. There's people. Huh. I've seen people. So the mailman, probably he's a how many how many feet from us to the fence line there? Forty feet. Yeah, about forty feet. Forty feet from us. Uh, on any given morning, there's deer. It's really nice. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, it really kicks the dogs off that they can't get out there. Don't look at that red oak. That's a beautiful tree. tree. Yep. All right, so let's uh, talk about something relevant. Angry wives. Versus, oh, my dear Lord. Versus the mantrum. Not tantrum. Mantrum. <laughs> I give her a little bit of that. Cheers. But, oh, dear Lord. Welcome to Coffee with the Masons. You, you know, the non-recovery edition. Um, the non-recovery? Yeah, we're not, we're not discussing recovery today. We're discussing angry wives. Versus the mantrum. <laughs> She's happy. Yeah, you know, I, know, I don't does see the it. Tags. But, but oh dear Lord, this woman. Have you ever wanted to just take out your throat chopper and then catch them right across the air? Boy, just like that. Let's have some atmosphere, shall we? Sometimes, sometimes. I'm not paying attention. Most of the day today, I have wanted to chop her dead in her throat more than one time over. And over and over again. Why? She's grumpy. She's grumpified. She's grumptastic. She, there's just grumpish behavior all over the place today. See? She wants to set things on fire. Here, I'll burn a candle. We'll have some atmosphere while you complain. This isn't a seance. I'm not trying to bring these demons to life. <laughs> One... Well, that smells pretty funky. It's nice. It's called a woodwick. It's called a woodwick. Or as I call it, a candle. You know what? This is our atmosphere today. You know what she's using to prop the phone up with while we're shooting this? My peanuts. So now I'm sitting here struggling, hungry, hung hangry, almost hangry. And uh, she's got my peanuts right there, propping up the phone. See There's peanuts? the peanuts. Hold on, hold on. They want to see the label. Look at that, honey roasted. There's the other camera. Mm. We really have a camera. Yeah. There's yeah. the fence line we were talking about. And then here's a tree. There's that beautiful red oak we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, that thing's huge. Yeah. Mine. All right. So our topic today is we had a really difficult morning. My poor boobs need their own zip code. No, we didn't have a difficult. We, we didn't have a difficult. very difficult, difficult we morning. We did not have a difficult morning. I... Woke up with a sore back. Don't why, know why. Why do you have a sore back? Because I've been working my back to the bones. Explain what happened. What do you mean? Go back in detail. Oh, well, August 1st of 2003, I was involved in an automobile accident. Automobile accident. Whereas I had such an impact, head-on impact, that it fractured one of the vertebrae in my back. So now, when said weather changes, my back kind of acts up on me. He didn't let it heal. He just went to work because thug life. I have a hashtag thug life. I had to make money. For what? Work. Mm. Had to so, make money. I wasn't really drugging then. My dad was still alive then. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, mm -hmm. anyways, um... We both woke up on the wrong side of the world today. I think we, we both, both woke did. up on the same side of the bed. Because mm. she's grumpy. That made me grumpy. Because I was just a vision of pure angelic behavior. No, before she started her grumpified attitude. I, You know what? 
I drug myself to work Saturday with the flu. I drug myself to work Sunday with the flu. I pulled a 10 out pulled a 10 hour day. Then had the kids all day Monday running around, paying bills, doing errands, doing kid stuff. And then he wants to wake up and act like a little crybaby. And I just I'm just kind of over it. <laughs> I was I was not crying. I explained to her, "Look, my back hurts and um ow." And, and then she you gets like you're the only one that's like she gets dead. up on the wrong side of the bed. I did, and just ruined I both did. of our days. No, I, I was I was in a good mood, great you, mood, no, excellent mood. Liar. I'm still trying to figure out this ratio. Of, we got some new instant coffee from the Aldi, and I didn't even bring the can out here to show you. But good gosh, is this stuff? It, you could peel paint with it. I think if you put too much in the cup, yeah. You put too much in the cup, you'll be up till next Tuesday. Shag, he's got some shag going on. I feel like a hippie. Yeah, you are a hippie. Anyways, we both woke up in a really bad mood. I'm still claiming innocence. He he was just he just does these little one liners when he wakes up bad, and I'm like not in the mood to put up with this crap. And I'm like, shut up, just just stop. I've I've given 125 percent, and you just sitting there being all like prima donna blah 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 it's all about you blah 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 <laughs> I was not having it the more I didn't have it the more cranky he got and then the more cranky he got I'm like who the hell are you to be cranky I'm the one going to damn work <laughs> so we ended up <laughs> we tried to we tried to have coffee. We tried to have a productive day. This is why it's like coffee in the evening with the Masons because we, we're not morning people. Not even on a good day. And um, we finally went back to bed. I don't know what you're talking about. We I went wake back up to bed. glorious behavior every morning. We went back to bed and slept like another two or two. I slept two hours. You slept two and a half, three. We didn't get up till noon. <laughs> but the the. The bad mood had broke. I was in a much better mood by then. Yeah, it's something to do with Mercury and retrograde is what she it's blames it all on. I was telling them at work. I had like, never been to Mercury. I was telling them and at work. They were like, I what still, is that? I'm I like, couldn't tell you what the hell retrograde means, honestly. I don't, going backwards? Yeah, uh-huh. Mercury don't go backwards. It appears to in the sky because of the alignments of the planet. I don't believe that. The alignments that's all, all the planets. That's all of that astrology garbage. So what did you get accomplished today, honey? Anything? Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, um, I've um, i been loading up the truck with some scrap metal that's around the house. You know, both there's a two-pronged attack to not only make my life organized, but get some stuff out of here that don't need to be here. Mm -hmm. And I made $18.60 today. That's good. Well, what are mm -hmm. we going to do with that? Well, I was going to go on a date, but apparently I might have to go buy you some ice cream. I mean, I'll, you can do both. No. Uh, Oh, I'll dump I'll dump I'll dump eighteen bucks on some ice cream if it'll keep you shut up for the next two days. You see the disrespect? You see the disrespect. Disrespect. I'm precious. I'm laying my life out there for all to see the the struggles that I go through on a day to day basis. Who else would put up with you? Who else would put up you with ever, you? You ever you ever sit and think that sometimes maybe God gave you exactly gives you what, what you deserve. What you deserved. Ah! I mean, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> shut up, woman. <laughs> Video juice. <laughs> Here I am, you know, been in and out of jail, even been to prison. Woe is me. And, and woe is me. And here wow, I am, stuck, so hard. stuck with a life sentence. Wow. <laughs> she goes to work, so I don't have to right now. Wow. Oh, he pitched a little... Let me tell you about the little bitch he pitched. Oh, my God. Let's keep... Let's keep it real. Oh, oh my God. Oh I'm God. like, I'm in the house cleaning, and I'm not in the mood to clean. Still get trying to get over the flu. And I'm like, can you just straighten up the living room? Well, I'm busy doing stuff outside. I shouldn't have to clean up inside. I'm like... All this stuff about a clean mind, clean whatever, just get your butt in there and push the broom. Okay, okay, okay. Time. One time room. Time. And I was having a little. Time out. Who's the three year old in this relationship? It's not me. Time out. Time out. Hey, I gotta ask. Time out. I gotta, out. Do, I gotta All right. clean up after myself. Wow.
We're going to use a little bit of football terminology. Personal foul on the wife. 15 yards. Back it up. All right. Yep. You better run. Sit back there. Get in the back of the bus, woman. Okay, so now that I got the camera to myself. Hold on, wait a minute. There we go. I still need my own zip code for these boobs. Perfect. Put your hand down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 had already asked me before my even before I even had my first cup of coffee. She's already nagging me, nagging. Oh, look, you have a text message. I don't care. There's a text. Focus. Okay. Anyway, she's already nagging me. I haven't even got up and had coffee yet today. She's asking, "What are you gonna do? When are you gonna do this? You gonna do that?" Blah. Tears. I'm shutting from. Blah. Nag. Here. Nag. Blah. Nag. Nag. Yeah, that's right. Get behind me. Anyways. See what I got to put up with? Let's get back up here so we can... All right. Can we finish this up? How yeah, about, let's you finish got this anything up. like a Bible verse or anything? I got nothing. All right. Keep talking. Keep talking. Okay. So, it's been that kind of day to where I've been precious and she has not. We have those days all the time. Didn't you talk about suing earlier? Uh-huh. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 1. Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Mm -hmm. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world, and if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? What does that mean? That means that, look, don't take your issues in front of a man. Man is just going to do what man wants to do. Man, man is all political. God, he's got the people that's going to judge. He's got saints. God is going to be the initial, the, 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 the essential judge. Okay. You, everything that you've done is going to be judged. Everything. Everything. That's right. You're going to be so, held accountable for everything you did. Do we have any life. Uh, recovery, life and recovery tips for our free viewers? We have four. Any tips, any tricks, any encouragement? Today is a day of salvation. Today. The Bible says, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the day you take that first step. First step to recovery is quitting. That is also the hardest step in recovery. Once you take that first step, all the other steps are easy. Er. Easy er. Right. So, make that decision. Keep make fighting that decision the fight. Today. Keep the pushing forward. Addiction wants to kill. It wants to kill. Fight and, back. And, Don't let it win. And in the process of killing, it wants to take everything you have. Don't let it. Don't let it. Don't let it. Look at this beautiful, precious marriage that we have. You, too, could have a marriage like this one. If you just... Stayed sober. There is a reward for sobriety. Yay! <laughs> God bless you guys. <laughs>